five, four, three, two, one. This morning, a cargo rocket blasted off from Virginia, headed to the International Space Station. On board are supplies and important science experiments. One aims to solve the problem with fungus and mold on board the station. Students from the University of Colorado are part of a worldwide team trying to find a solution. Our Joel Hillen spoke with the man leading that team. We're trying to understand how biofilms grow differently in the microgravity of space compared to Earth. Dr. Luis Zia and a research team that includes graduate students from the University of Colorado launched an experiment into space to learn more about molds and bacteria growing in the International Space Station. The experiment is called space biofilms, and we're growing two different things. Bacterial biofilms, which is the kind of stuff that grows in people's bathroom, not mine for sure, and this is the kind of thing that you have to scrub really hard for it to come off. The second are fungus molds, which also hitch a ride to the space station on astronauts. Both of these things have occurred on International Space Station, so it is a problem for uh, multiple components that are critical to maintaining the astronauts alive. Along with growing biofilms, they'll be testing antimicrobial materials, which could be manufactured to keep the biofilm from being able to stick to the surface in the first place. That has a simple, real-world application. Biofilm formation on catheters is one of the, uh, it's a very common problem in hospitals and one of the reasons for which so many people get urinary tract infections on Earth. A new sterile material protecting us from microbial forces wherever humans may venture. I'm Joel Hillen, covering Colorado First.